Welcome to our third session of our Advent at Home series. We are at our dining room table where we've shared many, many family meals. And at the center of the table is our Advent wreath. It remains our centerpiece throughout the Advent and Christmas seasons. And before we say grace every night in December, we always light the Advent candles saying, Jesus brings us hope, Jesus brings us peace, and Jesus brings us joy. Notice that the pink candle needs a little help this evening. It's a different color than the advent color of purple because pink is the color of celebration. And during Advent, even though the color purple reminds us that we are supposed to be in a time of deep introspection and reflection about our lives as we kind of clean up our own manger so that Jesus can be born in our hearts again, the color pink reminds us that, that this is also a time of great joy and celebration. The Christmas scriptures are full of joy. We have that beautiful song of Mary called the Magnificat, where she glorifies and praises and rejoices in God her Savior. Elizabeth says that the child in her womb, who is John the Baptist, leaps for joy at the sound of Mary's voice. When the angels come to the shepherds on that Christmas night, they come bringing news of a great joy. And then the wise men, when they see the star over Bethlehem, they rejoice exceedingly with a great joy. Now that's a lot of joy, right? It's not only that they rejoice, they rejoice exceedingly. They not only rejoiced exceedingly, they rejoiced exceedingly with a great joy. Now, I have to say that in this COVID season, I can't say that I'm rejoicing exceedingly in a great joy, but I do have my moments of joy because our joy is in the Lord. Our joy is in our relationship with the Lord, who is our rock and our anchor and our fortress, especially during difficult times. A few weeks ago, I was feeling very sick physically. And when your body is down, it drags down your mind and your spirit as well. I was trying to get something done on my computer at my desk, and I could not focus. And so I looked out the window, and I saw my bird feeder. It was covered with birds, chickadees and nuthatches and purple finches and gold finches. And as I looked at the birds, one of them flew off the bird feeder and landed on the windowsill and looked directly into my eyes, eyeball to eyeball, as though he was saying to me, relax, life is still good. You have food, you have shelter, you have your flock, life is still good you can rejoice. He was my little angel of joy, reminding me that if I get quiet enough, if I open my heart and I open my eyes and if I open my ears, I can see that joy is all around me because God's blessings are all around me. I can still be a person of joy in this Advent season, through this pandemic, because our joy comes from the Lord and from all the simple, ordinary, everyday blessings he gives to us. Have you ever experienced a joy beyond your wildest imagination? Have you ever felt that that joy that you witnessed and observed was so great that your heart was just bursting with joy? I've had two such moments in my life. 
One was when Katie was born. After many hours of pushing, concerns, all the things that were there, or Caitlin finally arrived. And in that moment, I experienced a joy that I was never sure I'd ever feel again. It was so incredible. And being there and being with Janet and our Caitlin arrived. And it brought tears to my eyes because there was such a great joy. Five and a half years later, Ben was due. Ben was slow in arriving. He wanted to take a journey, I think. And so we went in on the, an evening, and he wasn't born for nearly 36 hours. It was a full day plus into the next morning. And I was worried that I would not experience the same level of joy. Um, once something, you've seen something, the second time around, it doesn't always touch you in the same way. So I was a little concerned. But in that moment, as Ben was being birthed, our doctor took his time and said, Janet, you need to see this. And she got to experience the same thing that I did the first time. And that joy we shared together was just an incredible, incredible joy. In that moment, it made me think about how much the Lord loves me. The Lord loves you. And he wants us to experience that moment of joy, not in a moment, but constantly. Rejoice always. Sing the praises to the Lord. He wants us to experience joy bursting forth in a way that we might not know, where other people probably look at us and go, what is wrong with those folks? They just are too happy. That's what joy in the Lord is all about. So as you move into these next few days, it's hard. COVID's got us all down, social distance, all the types of things. But start experiencing the joy again. Remember that moment that brought you such great joy. Reflect on it. Put that in your heart and let it burst forth to share with those around you. Friends, families, loved ones, share the Lord that is joy who is in you in a way that you might not think you're capable of. And this world will be a better place. Let us pray. God of joy, we thank you for this time where we can celebrate your birth with exceedingly great joy. Let us not be shy in it, but let us shout it from mountaintops. Let us show you how much we love you by expressing our joy. Not just to you, but in doing so, we're sharing the joy with all around us. So as we wrap up this Advent at Home joy, go forth rejoicing with exceedingly great joy in the week ahead. Amen.